Oh, shout out to bit. Alright, my guys, Woodrow and Wunya. You're going to know Dark and Young Narua. And I'm here today with Kieran. And guess what? He's going to show us his bits. <laughs> so, what have you got to show us, mate? Uh, so, we've got a 99NL blister pack Pajero yep. to run through, as well as a, I think it's around a 70s um, discount ambassador or ambassador. Yep. And now you want to say it. Uh, just, yeah, just a kind of. And it's quick a, setup. What um, you use to get family out and yeah, well, that's it. enjoy this country. Yeah. Alright, well let's go for a walk. We'll start on the caravan, eh? Yep, sounds good. Alrighty. Right at the front we've just got 12 volt battery. Yep. Uh, what size is, is that? The, um, it's a 90 amp hour, so 45 usable. Yep. Um, oh, it's just an AGM. Yep. And then um, obviously a gas bottle. Yeah. Gas bottle. I noticed there's an antenna up on the roof there. Yeah, so it's got a 12 volt TV and 12 volt <laughs> antenna booster. Um, not that I've used it yet, but it's there as need be. Uh, inside's not, hasn't got a lot going on. I've just put in some extra 12 volt lights. Um, so there's a 12 volt telly. Yeah. Keep the kids amused. Um, and not plugged in at the moment. <laughs> kids with all their little bits and pieces. Yep. Um, so yeah, they're just <coughs> oh, yeah. eBay spec, yep. just to give it a bit of extra light in here. Um, and then it's got the normal there. 12 volt. Uh, does have a twin burner under there. The normal, I think it's a Dometic fridge that comes with it. And then I've just built in the front bed uh, out of the two sanded lounges. Oh, yeah, yep. So I've still got the storage on Probably both the old sides. Probably the old table and that would have been at one yeah, point. Yep. Because yep. uh, I bring all my <clears throat> own coffee tables and everything. So, um, yeah. So she's all pretty basic in here. Pretty basic. It is. It's, it's enough for you and the family get, though. Yeah. Gonna get changed to double bunks in the front. So the kids can have this to themselves. Yep. We're happy as in the swag, so. Yeah, nice. Don't change something that works, I say. Yeah, that's right. And I, as long as it keeps the family happy and the kids happy. Well, that it does. Uh, um, other thing is, shower tent's going on it. I'm gonna yep. put a instant hot water on the back of it in where the back window drops in. Just so we got completely off the yep. grid. Yeah, nice. Uh, what size solar panels on the roof of it? I have no idea. I have a feeling it's probably a 160. Uh, it pumps it in pretty quickly pretty once good. the sun hits it. But And here we've got the beast. Yes, so uh, just your typical two inch lift, torsion bars wound up. Um, what size no. tyres are running on that? Uh, so I've got a the 285 75 16s. Oh, so I uh, think that's about a 31, uh, something like that. 32 and a half, I think All they right. work out to be. Right. So just shy of a 33. Yep. Um, it is in next year or so, I do plan on going to a 35 and doing diff gears um, and a transferred reduction. Yep. Um, but that's when I get around to it. Uh, at the moment, it's just got sanded motor. Um, Any idea on the brand of the bull bar? It's actually a TGM bar yep. that I've modified, cut the hoops off. Um, it was off a Trident, so I modified the wings a little bit Fair enough. and cut it up a bit higher just to get more clearance. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can see the welds on it there. It is a winch bar, but I mounted the winch down a bit lower, nice and lower. before I put the bar on. All right. And it's actually welded to the SOZ, so it's not going anywhere. And you were saying before you have no idea what brand of winch it is, um, but it works. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's a nine and a half thousand pound. Yep. Does the job. Yep. And yeah. Antenna on the front? Antenna, so I've got an Oricom um, CB in there in the uh, roof console that I built for it. Yep. Um, We'll check and all that out in a little bit. Yeah, uh, rear drawers in it that I built, um, and fridge, twin batteries back oh. there. So it's got three batteries all up, um, the crank and then the twins in the rear. Very nice. What uh, about the spotties on the front there? They're just the kings that I've painted all black, just to have to try to look at the blacked out. And hide the king's logo? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> it there. Can't advertise too much for them. Uh, um, when I get the sealies, uh, 16 by 8s, they're going to be in the black as well. Yep. Um, you going with the Sunraiser or? Yeah, just, just simple. 
um, if the account allows it, I might go bead locks as well. Yep. Just with 35s, I want to be able to I run low pressures as it is. Yep. So just to help that. Um, so the sliders. I'm going to go a royal blue on a um, darker grey. Yeah, Keep nice. Two tone, but make it darker. Yep. Um, um, so what about the sliders? They're just um, someone built them. I bought them off marketplace, and they, they do the job. They have alloy um, thread yeah, on them. Like that I took that off. I'm going to take the tags off as well. Yeah, fair enough. And because as you can see by them, they do get used. Oh yeah. Um, I don't see the point of owning a four-wheel drive and not I'll, using it. I love the fact that everybody says Pajeros are no good off-road, but... This thing will prove it wrong. <laughs> uh, even though slightly underpowered, uh, she goes places where it shouldn't be able to go. Uh, uh, awning, obviously so Kings. 270, just um, with the legs. Yep. Do plan on going so it's not a, a freestanding. Not a freestanding one at the moment. Uh, but that one got for a good price off Kings, so... Yep. It does the job. And you were saying before that's a King's panel on the roof, solar yeah, panel? so the 110 panel. I've just got some tracks at the back there that I've been used and abused. What's the roof rack on that, do you know? Um, flat rack's just another marketplace um, special. Uh, my other one, the front panel was rusting out. Yep. And it had the sides on it. Didn't like the look of it, so changed it all up. Low mounted both the awning and the shower tent on the other side. Yep. Um, I just didn't want anything sitting really above yeah. it. Solar panel I just take off when I need the rack. Okay. Uh, it's only four volts and um, a couple of screws and she's off. And by the look of that, you got your own property maintenance business? I sure do. Anybody on the Central Coast wants work done, give them a call. Um, so this is a mess back here at the moment, but normally I've got twin drawers. Uh, they just slide on the tower itself. Yep. Um, and then just a little, little board, pull out table just for when I want to have lunch at work or whatever. Yep. Um, and how good is it having a fridge when you're at work oh, or something? And it's great, like I can take any meal I want. Yeah, exactly. I know it's going to stay cold. Yep. Um, and then I've got the control box for everything, so there's fusing and everything. My lovely wiring job. Yeah, don't look at the wiring, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then it's got LED lights. Oh, yeah. All throughout the car. They look like the same ones the, inside as yep. in the caravan there. Yep. Um, and underneath the awning. Yep. So it lights up everything. Um, and yeah, you've got twin batteries just in front. Ah. So it's twin batteries there. I left a bit of space between the third drawer just to be able to put some tools and stuff. Yep. She's not tidy, but she works. It works and never had a problem with it. Yep. Touch wood, so. Yeah. Um, other than that, just a dirty gear bag on the back. Always a good we thing to have. On Clean everybody else's rubbish up. Putting rubbish in. Yep. And cleaning up the beach while we're up there too. Cleaning everybody always, else's crap up. I always work on the motto, I should take more away than what yep. it brings. It's always um, a good one to work on. Yeah. I'll come around the passenger side. Ah, you got the shower tent. Yeah, that's just the. Uh, shower tent. You use a shower tent or a toilet. Yep. Private toilet area. I did notice you have had that out yesterday. I actually want to have a look at that myself because I want to. I'm considering one myself. Yeah. So. so yeah, we've just got that, and then we've just got the um, foam pad. So when you want to have a shower, yep, worked great on the beach because that way you're not having straight a shower in the sand and straight into the sand again. Well, even in a place like this, you're not standing in the mud as you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it just helps a lot. Yep. Alrighty, so what do we got in here? So, I am get annoyed with stuff being on my dash. Yep. I know there is stuff on there at the moment. It was really annoying having my like bookings book and everything up here and flying off at me yep. every time. I used to have that lights. issue with the old Hilux when I had the um, business, yep. So that's why I built this one. Yep. Um, so it has pretty much everything in it. It also has my lighting on both sides as well as inside and the rear. And so, pretty little stickers for the kids. Yes. <laughs> um, and it also houses Oricom. The UHF. Um, is that the Oricom UHF 90, is it? it looks like the same as my one. like that. Yeah, same I as my no one. I have idea what it is. I just saw it and good price. And yep. Wanted one for ages. Same as mine, but I want to swap it out and put a GME or X yeah. XRS in mine. 
Um, and they the phone holder for not a bad tracks. Either. Also got the tripod there yep. for the phone. I shoot pretty much everything on the phone. Yeah, right. right. Not that I'm on YouTube much, but um, like Instagram and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, this is actually on Instagram, Adventures of Patch. Right. Uh. Um, so I might give that to you later, so you Yeah, I'll pop check all that out. Um, but yeah, just pretty sanded inside. I am going to nothing a, too flashy. Um, stereo in it to have maps and everything. Doubled like that. in, doubled in one. So I'm thinking it'll go up there, get rid of those, and then I'll probably bring them over onto a pillar pod. If you're getting rid of that incline meter, let me know. Yep. Because um, I'd, I'd love to get my hands that's on one. The only thing that, that's what I hate about mine. On it, because the oil and voltage don't really show no. what it's actually doing. I normally have a phone charger that yep. shows me the actual voltage. That's one thing that the Gen 3s and 4s no longer have. Mm. So yours is the last model with yep. that. Which and then, I'm kind of spilling because I would have liked it in one. Yeah. Um, and then also just got a oh, yeah. controller for, for your winch. winch up there. I uh, normally have a handheld sitting yep. up there as well for whoever's spotting. Yep. Um, and yeah, other than that, she's pretty standard. Pretty standard inside. Does the job. Like I said, we went Fraser two weeks with just this. And it Did was, you well? Yeah, it handled it. Yep. And we were comfortable the whole time. I can see she's a bit muddy on the inside there, Mike. Yeah, she likes to put command in the windows. Yeah. Somebody didn't put their window up in time. <laughs> Every time I forget. Yeah. Well, guys, that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this series, please check out the full playlist. Cheers, guys. Take care, peace, and as always, I'll see you on the tracks. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please click here to do so. And check out the playlist up the top. That's the rest of this series. I reckon you'll like that too. Cheers, and I'll see you on the tracks.